This rusty red rock controls more of your life than your smartphone. Every bridge you cross, every building you enter, every car you drive, they all depend on this one material that most people have never seen being made. But here's what's insane. To transform this worthless rock into the backbone of civilization, we have to create an industrial hell that reaches 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And the process is so extreme, so violent, and so precisely engineered, that when you see what actually happens inside these factories, you'll never look at a building the same way again. The Hidden Scale Let me put this in perspective. In 2024 alone, humanity produced 1.8 billion tons of steel. That's enough to build 300 Empire State Buildings every single day. China produces over half of this. That's 76 million tons in December alone, up 11.8% from last year. But most people have no idea how we turn literal dirt into the material that holds up their world. The Violent Beginning But it all starts with controlled explosions that can be heard for miles. These aren't just big holes in the ground. Some of these mines are 3 kilometers wide and 600 meters deep. The trucks you see? They're the size of houses and carry 400 tons of rock in a single load. What they're hunting for looks like worthless red and purple rocks, but hidden inside is iron oxide, the raw ingredient that will become everything from your car to the International Space Station. The transformation begins. Here's where it gets crazy. You need three tons of this raw rock to make just one ton of usable steel. First, they crush it into powder finer than flour. Then massive electromagnets separate the iron particles from the waste. It's like finding needles in a haystack, except the needles are magnetic. But the iron still isn't ready. They mix it with water and clay, then roll it into marble-sized pellets. These get baked at 2,400 degrees Fahrenheit until they're hard as rocks. The Industrial Inferno Now comes the most insane part. These blast furnaces are 30-meter tall industrial monsters that never sleep. Literally, they run 24-7 for years because shutting one down costs millions of dollars. From the top, they dump in iron pellets, limestone, and something called coke which is coal-baked until it's almost pure carbon. But here's the magic. From the bottom, they blast in air heated to over 1,000 degrees Celsius. This creates a chemical reaction so violent, it's like a controlled explosion that never stops. The carbon literally steals oxygen from the iron ore. It's molecular theft happening at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The Molten Metal Birth what comes out is liquid metal at 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt copper pennies instantly. But this isn't steel yet. It's pig iron, brittle and full of impurities. The waste floats on top as slag, which gets removed and actually used to make cement. This molten metal gets transported in ladles the size of swimming pools, riding on railroad tracks like some kind of industrial lava train. The Steel Transformation The real transformation happens in the basic oxygen furnace. They blow pure oxygen into the molten iron at supersonic speeds. The reaction is so violent, it creates a fireworks display that would put the 4th of July to shame. This burns out the excess carbon and impurities. But here's what's incredible. There are over 1,500 different steel recipes. Want steel for a skyscraper? Add manganese. Need it for a submarine? Add chromium and nickel. It's like cooking, but with molten metal. The final form. The liquid steel gets poured into water-cooled molds in a process called continuous casting. It's like making the world's most expensive pasta, but instead of noodles, you're making the beams that hold up buildings. While it's still red hot, Massive rollers squeeze and stretch it into sheets, bars, and beams. 
Some of these rollers weigh 200 tons and can flatten steel like it's Play-Doh. Every piece gets tested. Tensile strength, hardness, microscopic analysis. Modern steel is stronger than anything the Romans could have imagined. The AI Revolution But here's what's happening in 2025 that's changing everything. Artificial intelligence now controls these furnaces. Vision A. I watches the flames and adjusts temperatures in real time. Machine learning optimizes every chemical reaction. We're talking about robots controlling 3000 degree infernos with precision that would make a Swiss watchmaker jealous. The environmental challenge. But there's a problem. Steel production creates 7% of all global CO2 emissions. That's more than all the cars in America combined. The solution? Companies are racing to replace carbon with hydrogen. Instead of carbon monoxide stealing oxygen from iron ore, hydrogen would do it. And the only byproduct would be water vapor. The recycling miracle. Here's the amazing part. Steel is infinitely recyclable. That beam in a demolished building can become a car. That car can become a bridge. That bridge can become a skyscraper. Electric arc furnaces can melt scrap steel using massive electrical arcs, like controlled lightning bolts that reach 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The hidden steel around you. Right now, you're surrounded by steel and don't even know it. The springs in your mattress, the frame of your phone, the rebar in your walls, the cables holding up bridges. Every person on Earth uses about 500 pounds of steel per year. In your lifetime, you'll depend on over 40,000 pounds of steel. The future of steel. The steel of tomorrow will be stronger, lighter, and smarter. We're talking about steel that can heal its own cracks, steel that changes properties based on temperature, steel embedded with sensors. This same process that starts with rusty rocks will build the space stations where humans live among the stars. So the next time you walk into a building, drive across a bridge, or even use a fork, remember, you're experiencing the result of one of humanity's most incredible achievements. We take worthless rocks, subject them to temperatures that would vaporize most materials, orchestrate chemical reactions with atomic precision, and create the backbone of civilization. It's not just manufacturing, it's modern alchemy. We're literally turning dirt into the foundation of the future. And every single day, in factories around the world, this ancient process continues, feeding the endless hunger of human progress, one molten pour at a time. If this blew your mind, wait until you see how we make the computer chips that power your phone or the concrete that holds up every building. Subscribe and hit the bell because the world is full of incredible processes hiding in plain sight. That's how steel is made, from the depths of the earth to the heights of human achievement.